Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today to take a quick look at the latest power supply from NZXT, the smart power supply E650. And we are back and guys don't forget to check the link down below for the sponsor of this video pure vpn which is one of the fastest vpn services that i've used so far with apps for almost any platform at an affordable price so don't forget to check the link down below and now looking at the nzxt e650 now let's start by saying that this is not the only model available it starts at 500 watts and it goes up to 850 so we have three different choices depending of course on the machine that uh, we are building now starting with the build quality this is a premium power supply at an affordable price in my opinion of course comparing with other units that we find on the market this is an 80 plus gold efficient power supply fully model and it looks great this is completely black so it will look awesome on any black built and one of the things that I would like to mention like I do on any other power supplies that besides being all black and looking great if we take attention at the back we can see some components which is normal but is one of the things like I mentioned on the last power supply I would love to see everything in black and as I said this is a smart power supply and the magic happens with the cam software that we have seen here on the channel once we have the power supply running on our computer we will run the cam software including on any or almost any nzxt product and there we will see a lot of information now we have seen this software on the kraken cpu cooler also on the h400i and h500i nzxt computer cases and now as well on this uh, psu now besides being able to control the fans as we have seen in our past the leds and of course the led color including the color of our cpu cooler now we can also control the psu now if you guys take a look at the screen i'm sure that i already placed an image there and you guys will have a better idea of what i can see and what i can't see now first it will show us how much power i'm using on my cpu gpu and every other component that we have and guys just have in attention that those results are not very accurate because when i'm not recording the screen my computer does not use so much energy but when recording the screen which was what i was doing at the moment then it was spending a little bit more so my consumption is not that high and besides being able to monitor the power consumption of our psu we can also do some fun things at least for those of you that like myself enjoy technology and all these uh, gadgets which is to control the fan of the psu which is something that it's not very common now if we take a look once again at the screen we will see that we will have a few options there are a few presets the first one that we will find by default is the silent mode where the fan will be at zero percent up to 40 degrees celsius and after that it will ramp up according to the curve that you guys can see on screen we also have the performance mode which will run at 38 percent up to 50 degrees celsius and it will blast to 70 up to 100 percent of span of fan speed until it reaches the maximum capacity of the power supply we also have the fixed mode where we can choose a constant speed and this one by the way works really well we can choose the speed that we want now one thing that i would like to add here is that up to 50 percent we will be okay in terms of noise in terms of the fan speed when we move or ramp up from 50 percent up to 100 it will get uh, loud that 100 will be very very loud now in my opinion we will not be needing the fan to uh, spin that fast but there will be a few scenarios that the fan will ramp up and i will show it you guys in just a few moments now lastly we will also find a custom preset which we will be able to control it ourselves i can design the curve and i can do a more aggressive or less aggressive depending on what i use my computer for and also if i mind noise 
or not. Now, after all this, I did some tests. And the first test was to stress out the CPU, which is Prime 95. And as the CPU gets stressed, the fan of the power supply will ramp up actually quite fast. It will remain on the 70%, which in my personal opinion is more than what I find acceptable for this kind of environment. Of course, if I'm playing a game, uh, I can use that. But talking about games, I did try with Unigine Valley and also with a few games in the meantime. And when we push the same amount of power, but from the GPU instead of the CPU, things are different. As you guys can see on screen, drawing more or less the same power, the PSU will not reach the same amount that it does on the CPU side. So the best option, in my opinion, of course, for someone that uh, is working with intensive tasks like video editing, for example, which will push from the CPU, of course, more than the GPU, depending on the software, which we are not going to talk about softwares right now. But the point is that if you want a silent environment while having a smart PSU and being able to control, in this particular case, I would choose either the fixed mode, which depending on the speed that we live, it can be dangerous or not. If you push really, really hard, which will be very difficult not to say impossible on daily tasks, but we will have the custom curve which we can use and make a less aggressive uh, scenario. Let's say that I can stay with the fan up to 50, 60 degrees Celsius below the 50% threshold on the fan. And then if we go above that, then we can leave the fan to ramp up. But in my experience with this kind of power supply, we not, don't even need that much of the uh, fan. So my suggestion here is that probably NZXT will have to uh, revise their silent mode and make it a little bit less aggressive. Of course, we can do it manually and do our custom curve, but I do believe that they are being very, very cautious and in some scenarios, it's not required. Now, one more thing is that for those of you that run a Akintosh, for example, it works just great. Actually, a curiosity here, and this will make my point as well, is that testing out rendering videos here on Mac OS using the same PSU, which is the one working right now at the back, and you will not hear anything, rendering videos pushing up the same amount of CPU will not make the fan to ramp up, which just means one thing, that the firmware inside the PSU will control everything. And when it's not using the software, I believe that it's more effective than using the uh, pre-established curves that for some users might be great, but for some other users will leave them a little bit on the doubt. But this will just mean that in terms of firmware, it's just great. In terms of software, a little bit tweak over here and a little bit tweak over there. And we can, of course, control it. So we are in control of our PSU and I find that it's more than acceptable. I forgot to mention something about the cables. Cables, this is fully modular, as I said, and there are two types of cables, one which is just plastic. I don't like as much, but this is very common on power supplies on this price range. But there are also a set of cables that has this nice black sleeve around the plastic cables, of course, that is just cosmetic, but in my opinion, looks a lot better and makes your overall computer to look a lot better. So I would just like to add that. And guys, this is it. This is a really nice, intelligent or smart, as you want to call it, power supply from NZXT. I did really, and I am enjoying the experience that I'm having with it. And that is it. I will leave some more links down below so that you guys can check it out and see for yourself. My name is Roberto George. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video.